This is Dominic Giles, and I just wanted to talk about some new functionality we introduced to Oracle Database 12.102, and that's support for JSON held inside of the database. And JSON, if you're not familiar with, is JavaScript object notation, and it's just a human readable format. And to store it inside of the Oracle Database, we can just define a table and have a column, varchar, um, or blob, or clob, it's up to you, and um, store the JSON inside of that. And we can apply some additional constraints which either validate or don't validate it. And once we've defined that, we can create the table. And if we choose to, we can also add indexes on any of the attributes on top of that data as well. In this instance, I'm going to define an attribute on top of a um, the ID attribute, which creates a unique index for us. But it could be on any one of the attributes held inside of my uh, JSON document. Now. I've created the table and I've created an index. Let's take a look at the JSON I've been talking about, and what it looks like. In this instance, I'm going to use standard DML op operations to insert the JSON. So here I'm going to access, I've got my JSON document and I've mentioned the ID, which is a unique identifier for each one of my customers. And I have um, standard attributes. I also have at the bottom here, an array of uh, telephone numbers which belong to this uh, customer as well. Very easy, easy to understand, and anyone looking at that will uh, be able to go through and know what's going on. Now, the flexibility of JSON is that I can go through and modify it any time I see fit. Let's just insert those four or five rows into the database and commit it, and now I've actually gone through and inserted that data, I want to be able to go through and query it. Now, Oracle's introduced some new functions and new conditions for JSON support. Um, one of them is the dot notation. So if you understand JSON, it's trivial to understand and access the attributes from SQL for that JSON structure. So here I've selected just the um, first and last name of a particular customer, and it's returned to me in standard columns as part of a native relational query, even though I'm accessing a semi-structured JSON document held inside of the database. And in the same way I can access the uh, name, I can also access um, objects, JSON objects alongside of it as well. So here I'm going to select the uh, last name um, plus the first um, item in the array of telephone numbers. So I ended up selecting a JSON object um, from that array. Now we've also introduced some additional um, functions um, such as uh, JSON value, JSON query, and JSON table, and some additional conditions like uh, JSON exists as well. Now, this is all well and good, but typically I might want to be able to access this from a scripting language. In this instance, I'm using Python. I'm going to go ahead and define some uh, RESTful services. I'm using the uh, open source CX Oracle driver and the uh, Python module bottle to define these REST services. I'm going to define two of them get customers, which will return all of my customers, and get customer. So when I give it an actual ID alongside my REST call, um, it returns just a single customer. Very simple. Now let's go ahead and execute that Python, uh, which will start a service running on my server, just a listener, which will enable me to access, access those uh, REST services I've just defined. Now that's running. I can either use um, a command line utility like curl, or in this instance, I'm going to use a browser to access that data. So here, all I need to do is specify the name of my REST service, in this instance, customers. And as I said, um, this will go through and return all of my customers in JSON format. And um, for the other service I defined, here I go through and give it an ID, and I retrieve a um, single JSON document back from the database. And this would typically be consumed by a client uh, browser. Now, um, we're introducing some new functionality later on this year, um, native document API and uh, for Java and um, Oracle REST data service to make this even simpler to do.